There are moments in human history when a single discovery shifts everything we thought we knew. Moments that fracture our understanding of reality and send waves of fear through even the most rational minds. Today, we may be standing at the edge of one such moment. A mysterious image, hidden in plain sight within the vast archives of the James Webb Space Telescope, has resurfaced, and what it reveals could shake the foundations of science as we know it. For months, astronomers praised Webb's first deep field image, SMACS 0723, as a breathtaking achievement. A celestial masterpiece showcasing galaxies colliding, ancient light stretching across the eons, and the raw immensity of the cosmos. But behind the scenes, something far more unsettling was unfolding. A portion of the data was quietly withheld. No explanation. No headlines. Just silence. And when it finally leaked through back channels, it wasn't just another star system or black hole. It was something so anomalous, so precise, and so disturbingly artificial that seasoned astrophysicists were left speechless. What exactly was captured in that image? Why was it hidden? And most importantly, what force in the universe could have left behind a signature so precise that it resembles a message? Tonight, we're going to unravel the clues, analyze the frequency, and reveal what the hidden image from the James Webb Telescope might be trying to tell us. You'll want to stay with us until the very end, because what you're about to see could change everything. The story begins with a routine release. On July 12, 2022, NASA unveiled the first full-color images from the James Webb Space Telescope to a stunned world. Among them, SMACS 0723 stood out, a jewel of deep space observation packed with thousands of galaxies, some older than Earth itself. But as researchers worldwide began to dig into the raw data sets that accompanied these images, a strange inconsistency appeared. A chunk of the mid-infrared spectrum, just a few pixels in a sea of stars, was flagged for further calibration. In NASA speak, that usually means ignore it for now. But independent astrophysicists, curious as ever, didn't let it go. Weeks passed, then months. And still, that section of the image was unavailable. Finally, after growing pressure from the scientific community and persistent leaks on astronomy forums, the hidden data was released, quietly, without media coverage. And what it showed was nothing short of chilling. At first glance, it looked like a dark blotch, but zooming in, correcting for infrared aberrations, and layering the temporal data revealed something entirely different. A concentrated thermal signature with uniform structure and, most disturbingly, a pulsing core. Unlike stars, which fluctuate due to natural cycles, this object's emissions were mechanically timed. It had intervals, gaps, repetitions, a pulse so consistent it defied any known celestial behavior. And when physicists ran spectral analysis, the pattern resembled something eerily familiar. Not a natural formation, but a modulated frequency. Something built. The infrared pulse wasn't just regular, it was organized. Applying a discrete Fourier transform to the signal revealed symmetrical harmonics, almost like chords in music. These weren't random emissions, they were structured. The scientific team at the European Southern Observatory compared it to the rotating signals of pulsars, but even pulsars wobble. This didn't. It was as if someone, or something, had crafted a deliberate pattern to be noticed, to stand out from the natural background of space. What's even more bizarre is that the pulse matched a frequency first detected by Voyager two over two decades ago, a faint, nearly dismissed anomaly received during a routine deep space transmission. At the time, it was filed away as interference. But now, faced with this new data from the Webb telescope, that old Voyager signal suddenly looks like a missing puzzle piece. A pattern repeated. A signal sent twice, once in the depths of interstellar space, and once captured now from a region 4.6 billion light-years away. Some speculate we're seeing echoes. Others suggest a synchronization. But a growing faction within the astrophysics community dares to whisper something more provocative. What if this is a beacon? Not a cry for help, not a threat, just confirmation. Confirmation that we're not alone, and that someone has been trying to reach out for far longer than we ever imagined. As the data continued to circulate among independent research groups, public pressure began to mount. 
Why hadn't NASA addressed the anomaly? Why had they delayed the release? And most critically, why was the entire section redacted in the first place? When asked during a press briefing, Dr. Amanda Keller, one of the Webb mission analysts, gave a carefully crafted response, calling it a high-priority irregularity under review. But behind closed doors, leaked internal memos tell a very different story. There were warnings, there were orders, and there were names on those emails that don't usually surface. People from defense agencies, from intelligence sectors, and from branches of government that have no direct connection to space science. Suddenly, what looked like an innocent glitch began to resemble a classified event. The timing made it even stranger. Just days before the release of the data, a series of UAP-related documents were quietly declassified by the Pentagon. Were these coincidences? Or is there a coordinated effort to prepare the public for what's coming? Astronomers have always wrestled with the so-called cosmic silence, the paradox of a universe filled with billions of habitable worlds and yet no clear signs of contact. But what if the silence isn't because no one's talking, but because someone else has been listening, patiently waiting for us to catch up? One theory gaining traction among leading exobiologists is that what we're seeing isn't a probe, or a ship, or even a message. It's a monitor, a device placed billions of years ago to observe, to listen, to catalog. Maybe not directed at Earth specifically, but at life in general. A kind of interstellar surveillance camera left by a civilization so advanced that its technology blends indistinguishably with the laws of physics themselves. This theory, known as the Sentinel Hypothesis, suggests that civilizations capable of interstellar travel wouldn't bother with flashy invasions or greetings. They would observe, quietly, patiently, and from an incredible distance. And when we finally developed the technology to spot one of their devices, it wouldn't be because they revealed themselves. It would be because we finally became capable of noticing. The hidden image from the James Webb Telescope might not just confirm that something is out there, it might be the moment we realize we've been watched for a very, very long time. As researchers pushed deeper into the James Webb data, something utterly incomprehensible emerged. The signal didn't just behave like an intelligent broadcast, it defied linear time. Through Fourier analysis and quantum pattern recognition, scientists noticed that the transmission predicted future cosmic alignments. Galaxies that would only be visible decades from now were embedded in the mathematical structure of the signal. It was as if the image itself contained a temporal fingerprint, a message not just from across space, but possibly across time. Some theorists proposed that this wasn't merely an observation from afar. It was a monitoring post, placed with foresight, observing a timeline not bound by present events. It was designed to be found, but only when humanity reached a certain level of understanding. And that's precisely what James Webb just unlocked. The location of the signal, hidden within a star cluster in the outer edges of the SMAX field, bore an eerie resemblance to the theoretical concept of a sentinel beacon, proposed decades ago by scientists like Bracewell and Sagan. These hypothetical objects would be passive observers, silent watchers left behind by an ancient civilization to await intelligent life. But the troubling detail was not just that we found such a thing, it was that the signal had recently changed. Analysis of Webb's initial scan compared to Voyager's decades-old recordings showed a subtle but measurable shift. A pulse that wasn't there before. Something, somewhere, activated it. That sent a wave of anxiety across the scientific community. Had we been noticed? Or worse? Had the beacon been waiting for us to reach this exact moment in time to respond? It became clear that this hidden structure wasn't just communicating. It was reflecting. What Webb saw wasn't a direct image of the object, but an interference pattern, like a hologram coded into space-time itself. The deeper they looked, the less physical the anomaly appeared to be. It wasn't a structure of matter but of information, encoded through gravitational lensing in a way that resembled an artificial wormhole signature. The team began calling it the mirror because what it showed wasn't just the universe. It was a shadow of ourselves, 
a cosmic feedback loop suggesting that intelligence had been here before, possibly guiding, watching, or even shaping evolution silently from the stars. The question wasn't just what is it? It became who are we in relation to it? As NASA and its international partners met behind closed doors, leaks began surfacing. Some engineers had resigned, citing a moral conflict. The signal, they claimed, contained embedded directives, not messages, but instructions. How to interpret certain equations, how to bypass current limitations in quantum computing, and more disturbingly, how to build a receiver for a deeper transmission. A second layer. The implications were paralyzing. If this was real, and all signs pointed to it being far beyond coincidence, then humanity wasn't alone. But worse, it meant something had been waiting, waiting for us to get here, waiting for us to unlock the image. And now, the silence wasn't comforting. It was deafening, because the next step might not be up to us anymore. So now we stand at the edge of understanding, staring into a message etched into the very fabric of the cosmos, uncovered not by accident, but perhaps by design. The James Webb Telescope, hailed as our greatest eye into the past, may have just become a mirror showing us a future that someone, or something, had long foreseen. The hidden image, once buried in light older than Earth itself, now whispers a terrifying possibility, that we were never alone, and worse, that we were always being watched. The beacon didn't reach out in a scream, but in a whisper, encoded not in sound, but in light and silence, in quantum echoes and impossible alignments. A whisper waiting for a species advanced enough, curious enough, maybe even arrogant enough to hear it. And now that whisper is turning into a voice, a voice we may no longer be able to ignore. If this image is truly a calling card, then the question is no longer if we respond, it's whether we're ready for what answers back. So tell me, do you think we've gone too far? If this discovery left you speechless, imagine what comes next. Leave a comment with your thoughts below. Are we uncovering the truth or opening a door we were never meant to find? And don't forget to subscribe because what the James Webb Telescope reveals next might change everything again. We'll be watching the stars and the silence together.